Hi, my name is Ivan Aguirre, and this is my CS120B final project. For my final project, I created a game that, I, that is called Mega DX, and it's a simple version of uh, Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo. Um, in this game, and this game is, display, is displayed on an 8x8 RGB LED matrix, um, that, and it's a side-scroller game, so, um, and it's controlled by four shift registers, three for each color, uh, blue, red, and green, and one that controls um, which rows are, are on at a given time. Um, and a LED bar used to denote how much health a char the character has at it any given time in the game. And this can go down by getting hit by enemies throughout the game. Um, and if it ever reaches zero, the player dies and resets it to the beginning. Now, the game starts by turning on the power and pressing a start button. And you're able to move with the keypad. Up, down, left, right, shoot. Um, and you have the ability to shoot um, projectiles. And as you go through the game, you can scroll through the level, and different enemies appear. And um, the enemies will, if they, certain enemies, if they pass you, they'll hurt you, or if they, um, or they fire above you, um, and they do damage, which is indicated on here. And in this game, there's um, ditches that you have to pass uh, over, and. The point of the game is to get to the end without um, losing three lives. So you have three chances to get to the end. Um, yeah, and if you lose all your health or fall down a hole, you start back at the beginning with full health. And if you lose three times, the game waits for you to press the restart button um, to restart. And if you get to the end of the game, the, the game does a little animation that teleports you to the top of the screen, and, and which would take you to the next level, but this game that I made only has one level.